Hi everyone, I hope you all this is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into Veracity. The ticket is VRA. I just want to say thank you for your support, okay? Big up the Coins Kid crew. Thank you for liking these videos and thank you for sharing the content, okay? And thank you for being a part of the, the Patreon there and, and following me on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. What else is there? Uh, Twitter. I, did I say that? I, I don't remember. So right now I'm just trying to bang loads of old videos out for you, okay? Lots of requests. I've already done TA on this before. Uh, there is a link to the video there in the playlist. And so far so good. I think I think we made the video round about here uh, when we were sitting down here around about three cents. And you can see that it's, it is taking off. It's conforming to the Fibs and Elliott Wave Structure 101 here. Because I think that you're putting your one high, your two low, your three, your extended wave. You've had your four and right now you're confirming that this is five because you're breaking out of this all time high here. Okay, so you're putting in new impulsive waves and you're adhering to Elliott Wave structure. So this for me was your one, this was your two retracement and right now you're putting in your three, which is a large wave. So, you know, as a four experiment, this, this third wave can be as big as you like. It can be an extended wave, okay, within this weight, large wave for five. Okay, so I do think that this is potentially your, your sort of end game up here and then you'll enter an ABC there and potentially enter the bear market right there. Okay, so based with Elliott Wave Theory and Fibonacci, this is what I'm looking at, you know, your, your potential up here. So just based off Fibs then, we're going to take a quick look at this. So from here, this low just here to this high, uh, I think you're moving up impulsively. Let me drop that white trend line out just there. So for me, you know, you, you're looking relatively good just up here. This is a one, this is a two. Right now you're putting a three, a four and a five. So straight off the bat, I do think that potentially your next point of resistance could be the one, two, seven, two at zero point zero nine seven five six four three so you could see a level of resistance there as you march towards it start to put in a, a retracement which could be you know you one you two you three and then you four and then you five up to that extended wave three there at 19 cents which is the one six one eight of the fibs and at that point you know put in a correction and get over extended and go to the two and a two point two seven two fibs up here for, for this particular project so you know moving forward this could be a, a beast couldn't it i think i was talking about this down here on the 786 I think I was down here and you can see we sort of came over at that W bottom pattern we broke out met the technical target held the support of 786 you know so round about there I think we're making the videos to be fair uh, you know you could be looking at a, a lovely 17x 18x on this particular project and at the minute I think you're up from that point when I made the video on the 786 up for 127 percent you know with a progression to, to go further with a prospect of going further basically so yeah it's looking really really good it's looking relatively bullish here you know and we got this beautiful buy and go to the beach here as when we broke out of this look boom 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 buy and go to the beach never look back as it you know so remember these signals fantastic in outlook look at that bearish cross sell by uh by but bullish cross buy basically <laughs> really is that simple so yeah it's doing really really well you know if we zoom in a little bit more i might find another level of resistance in the short term but you know on the on the long uh, projection you're looking in in at the 1272 resistance the 1414 resistance and then the 1618 uh, a major level of resistance right there because it's what it does it moves up impulsively you know have that correction right there and then get the blow off top towards these levels up here the the two at 41 cents and the 2.272 at 71 cents i think and you, you know that's conservative i think you might get overextended there to be honest with you so yes yeah, basically vra it's looking relatively good isn't it you know so you've got that level of resistance of 1.272 at 097056 uh, so right now i'm just going to zoom in just here and see what we're looking at see if i can see anything let's take a look at the four hour so the four hour no bearish divergence either so that's quite nice you are getting quite overbought on the four hours so you are going to run into a level of resistance relatively soon and come back for a key level support and you know your next port support could be technically if you do start to run into a level of resistance you could get some cheeky bids on this particular swing high just here this is what i always target 0 0.668 could be a fantastic entry point if you do start to come up because you're getting a bit vertical start to come back down bounce off that continuation and run into that 1272 right there okay because you can see you're going vertical on the four hour you're getting really really overbought as well in the rsi i mean if we drop that level in right there let's have a look move to the left you know look each time you get to that level boom you roll over don't you you get a little bit of extended 
but that could actually be a quite a nice little place to take a bit of profit again not financial advice and your support would be that swing high just there at 0.670522 so yeah like i say to so many people you know you don't buy the rsi in the sky you buy the R you buy more when the rsi is in the floor basically and you can see you're moving in waveforms yeah so a key level of support for me right now if you do start to roll over would be that swing high just there so i'm going to drop that in as a support target moving forward uh let's have a look at that and it is potentially you're broken out of that ascending triangle just there let me drop that out just there let's have a look on the four hour see what we can see so just there there was essentially some kind of horizontal ascending triangle continuation pattern just there that you're broken out of do you see that boom 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 broken out you're going a bit parabolic you're going a bit parabolic so for me i would not necessarily even though i've got my forecast up here you know this is what people do they buy these and then it tanks and oh shit you know you've basically bought big bad dildos mate you know you're going to get shafted because this will come back down and when it comes back down you can see straight away you've got a really strong level of support just there because it's what it does it moves up in swing high swing low swing high swing lows so you might get through for putting some bids in there for the continuation of the, the journey of the veracity vra uh, on the four hourly time frame so yeah it's a little bit of support and resistance right there let me drop it in so you can get the absolute uh, knob on price for that so just there uh, 0.671382 you know and if it does come back down to there and it, it shoots back up to the 1272 uh you're looking at a beautiful long up around about 44 percent aren't you look at that four hour going vertical you know it's dragging the emas with it it's ticking off into space you know i've got a saying buy big green candles you get big red dildos don't you so for me optimal entry point moving forward veracity and you could get a really overextended run into the 1272 and come back down you know but that would be a whopping correction wouldn't it what would that be from there to there around about 30 percent it's quite sharp Take care, everyone. Back soon with another update on uh, veracity. Stay healthy, stay strong, stay tuned. Bye-bye.